<laughs> Let's go, hey everyone! Oh. Welcome to Tabletop Obscure Presents Abomination Vaults. Woohoo! What's what up? We... Book 3, Session 16? Could be. We'll never tell. You'll never tell? Uh, uh, not... Well, you know, for maybe for a price. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, there's a poll! What could it mean? Quick vote on it. Yeah, still got a couple of minutes left. Whoa! It's neck and neck at the moment. Yes. I forgot you to You know what? In. Imp's a good choice. Hey, they're the understated little guys of the system. Right? Hmm. And have scamps, but scamps aren't officially in yet. System. I'm gonna have to go goblin, though. Just with, as, as they've been described, with their winning smile, you can't go past it. Mm -hmm. They winning do smile, have a big ears. winning smile. Mm -hmm. Their jaw bones might very well be, you know, extend out through their ears. <laughs> no, nothing. All right. <laughs> but how is everyone? Great. Great. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, jolly I, good. Uh, jolly good. Yeah. I normally would purchase myself a packet of shapes for for game snacks. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, not not bad. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. Uh, this evening, I have a box of wagon wheels. Oh, a box of what? Yeah, wagon wheels. Excellent. Uh, well, so Gremlin won. Excited, obviously. Uh, and I suspect, I think wagon wheels are a pretty Australianism thing, right? Mm. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Mm, so, uh, maybe British, but like Australian enough. Yeah. So what is it? It's like a it's like a very light biscuit with marshmallow and like some kind of raspberry like jammy thing, right? Yeah, some jam stuff. Covered yeah. in chocolate. Covered yeah, in chocolate. It's super yeah. good. I yeah. enjoy it. I love them. I really do. I mm -hmm. need to get a wagon wheel. They used to be bigger. Also, one of the they commercials... did used to be bigger. That's true. One of the commercials yeah. from I think it was the 1980s just kind of lives rent free in my head. It's the snail, isn't it? No, it's the sardine. Oh. Sardine? Yep. Re replay this, retell this this advertisement from the 80s for us, Matthew, <laughs> please. Um, it's just a, um, they're talking about how, um, they're talking about how people in Sweden have pickled sardines for a snack. Yeah. Sure. But people elsewhere prefer wagon wheels. Mm. And the siding kind of gets up from its tin and just goes, you hook, you wag of wheels. It See. just does that over <laughs> and over again. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Super bizarre. What a weird ad. What a weird ad. <laughs> like super weird and bizarre. But, uh, um, a little bit of back end stuff. Uh, Tyler will not be here tonight, unfortunately. We have, yet again, a missing player. He's dealing with some personal stuff in his life at the moment. He's got to lift the weight of ten men. And he has to yeah. train for that very hard. Mm. Yeah, he has to trick his body into being able to lift things by repetitively lifting things. Yeah. Someday he will be the governor of California. It's mm. <laughs> true. Really, It's a very specific thing? Canberra joke. Um, which every time it comes, like lifting or anything like it's bulking for foreshore, but you only understand that if you're from Canberra and you understand what foreshore is and how trashy it is. But anyway, does, does, I, Can yeah. does Canberra have a shore? Yeah, it does. <laughs> um, but that's not what the foreshore refers to. Like, like what? Shore? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's this really trashy like. Um, uh, I think it's like a schoolies sort of festival thing, and like the idea is like in your final year, you'd be a twelve, you'd bulk for four sure, so that you'd be super ripped, so you could pick up all the girls. Um, anyway, like I said, it's a highly specific and terrible thing. But mm -hmm. how many girls like could you pick up? I never actually grew up in Canberra, so I only heard when I went to uni there what bulking for four sure was. Um, but like, I'm, I'm glad I missed it. Okay, let's just let's just all play this game for a little bit. How many oh, girls God. do you think you could pick up? Uh, like me? Bench, right? Zero. Mm. Oh, how many I could actually pick up physically? Yeah. 
That's why I, I can't even pick myself up out of bed sometimes, so oh, the right? answer is yeah. negative one. <laughs> wow! I mean, I've picked up two at once. <laughs> yeah. there's, there's a sliding scale of how pick upable they are, you know, depending on their <laughs> age. But... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it not a standard unit of measurement? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, not the weirdest unit of measurement I've ever heard of. Mm. Mm. Yeah, um, Tyler won't be here tonight, but uh, if you are interested in some extra Australian-made Pathfinder 2 content that is super good and super great, check out Hijinx on YouTube. Also, their, their Discord server is super fun. It's popping. It, it it's really poppin'. is. And there's a bunch of Pathfinder 2 games that are getting organized through there. Yeah, yeah. Like, drop in drop out ones as well um and some of them are being based you know kind of in all sorts of different time zones so you, even if you're mm. on the other side of the world the, you can probably get into a game or two yeah yeah the implication of that is because um i'll be jamming those games i don't get any sleep and i <laughs> am probably going to drop out of uni just to run games for people in the northern hemisphere so sign up it's not to be welcome. missed yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking get your asses in there because <laughs> I sure am. <laughs> <laughs> you were enjoying I was it. Into that sentence. I was, I was yeah. having look honestly, highlight of my life right now. It's it's genuinely so much fun. Um, it has it's been. a great community. Um so yeah. And I got to be a player in a game. It was super good. Oh. Yeah, well, we got to hear your goofy orc laugh, which I love so. How does it go again, Matt? You know, that should be a channel. <laughs> that should be a channel point reward right there. Yeah, but I don't no, want that, to disrupt. That the should be a uh, yeah. It should be a channel point reward. It should be a um, button on my soundboard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll put it on the Discord soundboard. Yeah. Yeah. So <sighs> Matt, if you could just get to me. Uh... <laughs> Really? Look, you're so lucky I don't have Discord Nitro because I certainly have Pump Up the Jam in um Fantastic. In, in my server. So, uh, but yeah. 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 I well, think I see, think... I'm going to need a very high quality uh, web file of that laugh by the end of the mm -hmm. session. Thank you. Yeah, yeah I'm going to need to sample it and make some music. Just. Hmm. I mean, I do have Audacity installed on my computer. But a... that is besides the point. violin around here somewhere that I could touch it onto. It'd be great. <laughs> I know you can set up a soundboard on the stream deck, and I have considered it, but at the same point, it's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, otherwise, I'm trying to think if there's anything else regarding announcements. Um, if you haven't checked out Hoist the Colors, I highly recommend it. Um, we're putting up the VODs for it up on YouTube. Um, I'm not, I don't want to say that I've mastered ship combat, but the ve the vehicular combat, particularly with ships that I'm doing in that, is pretty spectacular for Pathfinder 2. I'm, yeah. I'm very happy yeah. with what I've done with it. <laughs> As you should be. It's a good system. So keen. Yeah. I, I need to catch up on that. Um, it, it's such an exciting campaign. Shot a shark with a laser. Heck yeah. <laughs> the freaking laser beam. I'm not Put even going to tell you which laser... which. One of us had the laser, so yep. find out. This is what, That's three? Two costumes? Well, the secret hours is earlier. it was all of you with a power friendship in your um, Captain Planet the power friendship, you, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That you, powers combined. Mm -hmm. I have considered the friendship beam, but I'm not sure how I would um, <laughs> scale the power for having multiple people aiding in it. Matthew, please give me a friendship <laughs> beam that rolls off diplomacy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, no, I said this to Nick last night. I said, what you need is some sort of attack action that's built off of diplomacy, and then you'll be golden for the rest of your characters. Mm, I, yeah. I can't, da like, I think Princess does all right, but any other character I can't do damage with. And because you rolled, what, out of eight D4s, you rolled like four ones? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thanks for remembering. <laughs> it's okay. I'm pretty sure I got a screenshot somewhere. Great. <laughs> well, someone's got to do it. I mean, geez. Uh, otherwise, um, I do have some extra games that I'm planning for the future. Um, probably a Salvage Union game that I'm currently writing up an adventure for. Um, I'm also having a look at Cyberpunk 
because it's Ooh. actually got some really good support in Foundry that I kind of want to... I want to get a better grasp of the rules first, but once that's done, I might also be running some Cyberpunk in the future. Fancy. Nice. Otherwise, um, if you haven't heard, the next game once Abomination Vaults has completed will be Gatewalkers. Uh, yeah. Because I have been told that I'm not allowed to run too many homebrew games because it will cause me to like snap and break and burn out. <laughs> yeah, hoist the colors. What? Yeah. What an unusual concept. What, burnout? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I've seen it. him do it, it's not pretty. <laughs> I mean, it's been a while. I could do it again. No, you could. You could do for another one, right? <laughs> yeah. Absolutely, that's how it works. It's like Yellowstone National Park. Like, any day yeah. now, it's just going to be cataclysmic. <laughs> <laughs> well, this will have happened 20 years ago. <laughs> uh, to put it into context, um, up to chapter four of Hoist the Colors, and each chapter has been about 12 pages on average. And the ancillary content for it, so all the ship data, all the, the crews I've done up, the extra items and stuff, that's about 50 pages so far. Just worth of solid content that I eventually want to put out into the world so people can use it for their own games. Nice. Ah. And yet you couldn't think up a few NPCs' names last night. I mean, I that did, didn't like I? That's job, uh, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, the chat did name one of them Wendy Gale, so... Yeah. What was the one that I hated? Tiny something. Tiny, Tiny Tiger. Tiger. Yeah. Fuck that guy. <laughs> he was Hate him a, on name alone. He was a puppet and he wanted a job on a ship. That's all he wanted. Nah, kick him like Cute. the football. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, Minyat. Otherwise, um, I don't really have anything else. Prison. <laughs> Who remembers what happened last week? Had a fight. Had a big fight. Have... It was good. It was a big fight. It was a big and a... and shit and wall of, of living wall eyeballs rumble. flesh. Wall of wall of eyes. Big winner, I think. Yeah. You say so? Yeah. It uh it made me feel safe and secure behind my wall of eyes. Is Harry dead or is he on top of someone who's dead? He's on top of someone who is dead. Okay. We should actually start cleaning up the corpses. But I'm on a different page, so let's bump that over mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for my yeah i can't screen. uh loot any of the bodies matt it's upsetting me oh now i can because, is that because they're all stacked no it might be because you weren't on the page <laughs> that would be weird I, I i could loot them so i got special privileges clearly i'm the favorite fancy yeah well let's move harry out of the way all right. Um, Why do I sudden? Never mind. All right, I'm gonna immediately just uh, kick it off with some medicine checks. I think. All right. Everyone can be healed for forty-seven. Yeah, that's everyone. Yeah. Um, nice. That's what we like to I see. I am a master. Right now, I'm only injured. What did I do? So, straight back into the Abomination Vaults? No, <laughs> we should probably have well, a nap first. And not under... quite. Maybe we could nap first. And uh, there's probably some <coughs> importance that we need to take care of uh, laying in, uh, uh, in their own mess on the floor just, here. Yeah, well, don't worry about the bodies in a second. Um, I'm going to grab Ida's arm. <laughs> Antichamber Andy is fucking huge now. What happened? He he was prepped for battle. He, that's his normal size. Yeah. Oh, he, lordy. Remember, that's how he was when we met him. He uh he puffs oh, up when he's angry. Hey, Andy. It, yeah. You, you can chill now. Uh, it's all sorted. Thank you for your contribution. Very much appreciated. Um, would. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Excellent. Just uh I told you thanks. to go do stuff downstairs. What are you doing here? I mean the stuff's done. Oh. How long you. did you expect me to take? 
I mean, it was like six levels. Why did you not? Did you not take like six levels? We have a teleportation circle. Okay, so you six levels and you just yelled at each one. Very good. I'm proud of you. <laughs> I know this sounds sarcastic, but this is just my voice. Just resting sarcasm face. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah. You'll get it one day. Not sure about uh, that. I wonder if this works. Nope. <laughs> Compy drinks no. Oh, but if if anyone could, it was Compy. <laughs> I am always terrified when Combi like something pops up in chat regarding Combi. Like, what the hell's gonna happen now? He's just doing his thing. What? Right? He's a good boy. Best boy. So, with the battle won, the Adurfan army repelled, and very few catch up with very few casualties. What's the plan? I'm gonna apologize to Roger. <laughs> and by apologize, I mean like not that exact thing, but like just make sure that we're cool. Um, as you go over to apologize, Pi kind of just pokes his head up and goes, "I uh, give him a second. He's getting changed." Oh yeah, no, I, I'll wait. Into what? Uh, you see another, like, half-dozen foxes kind of just jump up onto the counter <laughs> and kind of swirl and move together before they form into Roger. Pike, do you ever get weirded out that your boss is just a swarm of yous? <laughs> well, it wouldn't be the first time someone's made the joke that he's just three foxes in a trench coat. <laughs> You're lucky if you are a trench coat. Roger says, yeah, I'm not going to hide these knees. That's not going to happen. Well, no, they are the B. Anyway, thank you for being an nope. excellent throwing weapon. Please don't throw me again. I cannot promise that. <laughs> I promise you there will be a lot more weight next time. Neat. I'll get it closer then. So, drinking, plan. drinking, resting, mm -hmm. all that ever fun stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, um, Nathana, because Harry's probably going to do the same thing. Yeah, um, Whoop. I'm probably going to spend quite a bit of time. Um, I don't know if Ida's got any plans for the bodies. Um, kind of don't. <laughs> want to get involved with that but if there's any that are left unattended I'll be helping drag them out and letting nature reclaim them yeah. in the swamp w yeah, a ways uh, away so that we don't have any downstream effects you know Loggy yeah. will absolutely help you with that uh, I'm begrudgingly accept Loggy's help in a very <laughs> creeped out oh I wish you wouldn't be stand behind me please kind of way um, the way that his roots move he doesn't really have uh -huh. a forward facing direction so his face is always pointed at you, even if he's walking, like, backwards, effectively. <laughs> and it is Lovely. always smiling. But we That's only have a few games. more episodes of this. Why do you have to make things worse? <laughs> Why do you let me play? I don't know. This is who I am. <laughs> it's like he's on a swivel or something on the bottom as well. It's fantastic. Yeah. Because the face is mostly just for people. So they yeah. kind of know what to look at. He it's... doesn't need it. It's just, no. just like to make everyone else happy. It makes everyone happy, right? <laughs> happy. Happy. Everyone um, is happy. Actually, I should add that emoji to the Twitch channel. I've got it on Discord. I just don't have it here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's probably vital. Uh, at least for the next four sessions. Here, I'll... This taco is similar. <laughs> there you go. I mean, tacos um, work. Yeah. The, uh... Whatever it's called. Malka. Uh, will, like, fly over to Jeremy, father of the year. Uh, <laughs> and do a quick inspection. Uh, and quickly retail. Uh, that... Th they're gone, but not quite. They, there's still... There's still time. We can We can save this one. 
the singular one. Yeah. Uh, he's, Montoya he's overhears. Double. Yeah, it's, it's this one. Uh, Montoya overhears this and uh, seems very excited by this news. They, uh, oh, you're so powerful. You can you can raise the dead. I can, I can bring their their spirit and their mind back. Their their shell sometimes is different, but they will still be Jeremy, your most beloved of fathers. Um, he kind of just gets a glossy expression. You know, complete cannot understand it. <laughs> uh -huh. Look, it would be really helpful if you could join us in the ceremony. Oh, of course. Anything to bring back my father. Mm-hmm. He lives. Excellent. Just this one day, he lives. I want my sure. father back, you son of a bitch. I'm not sure why it's dragging him, but... Because if I delete, I lose the name, and we can't have that. No, that would be no good. But I guess you could type it a second time. All right. So you're going to be performing a reincarnation ceremony. Yes, please. <laughs> Jeremy's going to come mm. back and ask for tacos. Uh, Nefano, you're shirking bodies. Yeah. I believe that might be the wrong term, but it's close enough. And Princess, you're drinking. Yep. Well, let's select either, so I don't accidentally... God, this map's big. Yep. As he gets pulled through walls. Alright. So. Iter. What does this ritual look like? Look, we've we've seen this a couple of times now. And it's it's uh, it's becoming routine. Iter's <laughs> becoming like pretty comfortable with the process now. Um, yeah. We've got... Uh, last time we had like people that were close to the the subject this time we have like family members beloved family members of the, the subject do. and i guess any other mifflets that like feel a connection to this person are, are more than welcome to join as well um i think that like throughout the um the ritual it's it's just basically getting them up to share their thoughts and feelings about the fallen uh and why that person is important in their lives uh, and then just making sure that those voices can get passed through uh to the the boneyard so that jeremy can hear it and maybe want to step back rather than going forward on their journey just just not yet like yeah. it will eventually happen but maybe put a pin in it try it again later you know <laughs> that is one way to put it just yeah, you know just, uh... too soon <laughs> <laughs> oh my god um i missed it before is this a reincarnation or resurrection reincarnation. Oh, not resurrection reincarnation um whatever it's called yeah. revivify or um you know it's the it's the not it's the one where they come back one. somewhat changed yeah that's correct yep just a wee bit not a little just just a little yeah All right, now, you are getting assistance for this, so we'll get the assistance to go first. Because the DC for this is actually going to be pretty low. Sweet. Casting them sweet level one spells. <clears throat> well, uh, Mitflits yeah, aren't, I... aren't terribly complicated when it comes to the uh, the wheel and the weave. Mm hmm Oh, that was a terrible roll. Oh well. <laughs> um Yeah. So much for religious text. Look, 
the ring, the the ghost of uh, religious text forgotten, um, basically was like, these dudes don't write. Uh, I got nothing. Um, <laughs> like, all right, thanks for your involvement. Um, if it's not written in a book, you don't want to know about it. I see. That's very biased of you. It just kind of doesn't exist to her. Mm, yeah. yeah. But we have all these pamphlets. Sorry, it's not a book. <laughs> ah. uh, uh. Oh my god, I'm gonna reroll that one. You're gonna reroll that one? Spend a hero yeah. point? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's far out. There we go. That that that's that's that. <laughs> well Why? Why when I do rituals it's always so terrible? <laughs> I, I honestly have no idea. But as you begin the ritual, and... I'm gonna need a wagon wheel. <laughs> you start going through the motions of it, and mm -hmm. Valkar, it very much feels like you're going through the motions of it. Oh, like you're a little bit too practiced at this. Um, mm -hmm. Complacent would be a, another way to put it. Oh, that's a, that's a nice word that you've used in this situation, Matt. Thank you, that makes me feel really at ease. <laughs> Makes you feel really better? Lots better? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, and you get Montoya to kind of talk about Jeremy and, like, the whole parenting thing. And you can see as Montoya is kind of replaying his childhood kind of back, he's becoming um, less and less enthused about the whole thing. Oh, shit. <laughs> Like, great dad, but, uh... However... As the ritual all ends, there is a glowing light. As... Jeremy's body is engulfed in the glow And looking a little bit shorter. <laughs> hey, look at this guy. <laughs> oh my goodness. What a look fantastic guy. I love him. What a little guy. What a cutie patootie. Brilliant. Jeremy yeah, is really back with a big knife. <laughs> It's a big knife. That's not a knife. <laughs> but he kind of sits up, looking a little bit disorientated with everything. Uh, his tongue kind of automatically starts to loll out of his mouth. Fantastic. Yep. Yep. Uh, Jeremy, you're 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 at the gauntlet. You're with friends. You're in the uh shit. What's this room called? The chapel. Yeah, you're you're, <laughs> you're you're in the chapel. Uh, okay. You had a bit of a bit of an incident when we were invaded, but you're okay now. Oh, I, I'm fine. I'm pretty sure I got filled with arrows. You you got filled so much with arrows, <laughs> so but, very much. But but I'm okay. You're okay now. Okay. All right. Why you do need, I suddenly want to eat rats? You, you need... You need... To go to princesses... Get rat on a stick... Uh, have a drink... And just... Just be with... Be with your friends... Uh, they're the reason you're here. Okay. Alright. This feels weird. He kind of gets <laughs> up... And... You can tell he's a little bit unsteady on his feet... But he gets you're, moving... Your, uh, your feet move different to how they used to. Just take it easy. And he kind of starts moving on his way. Montoya kind of walks up and goes, Um... Is my dad like a dog now? Yes. As I said, it's still <laughs> exactly your dad that you remember. That was there through your whole, all those stories, same 
same guy, just in a different... You know, like, you've got water, and you could have water in a gourd, or you could have water in a water skin. It's still water, right? I mean, sometimes the water gets a little bit muddy. Sometimes the water gets a bit muddy, but if it didn't, it's still water, right? It's it's just in a different <laughs> shape. Ask if he's if he has seen the classic Disney movie Shaggy Dog. <laughs> That's what a niche reference. Oh, wow. <laughs> Um, oh, okay. Uh, this might take me a little while to get a wrap my head around. But for him as well, so you know, just take it slow. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. And he too will depart upon his way. Iter. Do you have any other plans? Yeah, I'm just going to say to Micah, like, hey, maybe, you know, it's not written down at all, but uh, don't knock the oral tradition. It's <laughs> it's still valid and relevant. You should uh, maybe try and engage with some a bit. All right, bye. You get the ethereal equivalent of a shrug <laughs> as her spectral yep. form kind of sits up from the book. Mm-hmm. Fair. Uh, Compy chugs another necrotic bomb. Just <laughs> casually drinking them. Yeah. 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 I had like I had like a million and I chucked them in the in the swamp because I was like, uh too many enemies are just gonna be too happy about this. Um. Yeah, he's he's throwing them back like uh VB short necks. Those little, <laughs> just... uh, little pineapples. Yeah. 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 Lovely. Like a coconut with the coconut water. Like, he doesn't talk, he just drools, but you feel like he's drooling drunk now. Okay. Mm -hmm. And just another not... thing is what his, like, uh, <laughs> physical form is giving you the impression of, you know? Mm-hmm. Alright. Well, you can all have your rest and your relaxation. As you will all be brought up to your full hit points and spell slots restored. Ooh. I will press the button for Harry. Sleep. There we go. Sample the life as a fee <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, fantastic. I actually don't like beer, unless it's ginger beer. I agree. That's basically hard soft drink anyway. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it can I just be. don't like Bread soda. It's really <laughs> bread soda. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. I don't know. No mm. bread and circuses for you. Frothy yeast. Yeah. Yep. Mm. Frothy yeast. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Getting up in the morning, um, there is a sense of stillness over the entire gauntlet, as you'd expect after recovering from war, essentially. It was a small one, but it's definitely a, a war as a treat. You know, well, it was kind of a skirmish, like 200, 300 versus the forces of like your forces. Yeah, we were sieged. You were sieged yeah. and you managed to succeed and you did well. And now that everyone's kind of had their little bit of a celebration, uh, it is somewhat subdued by the idea that Belcora still lies at the bottom of the tower. Mm, yeah. That one. And there yeah, is... Next. Yeah. Oh, I have a liquid incident. I'll be back. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, Belcora so still... Through that. Yeah, right. I'm, I'm not getting into it. Uh, Belcora still lies at the bottom of the tower. And despite being killed at least twice now, has seemed to get back each time. You have the means with which to destroy her once and for all. But getting there in general is still going to be something of a challenge. I... Hmm. Hmm. Herm? Hmm. 
Hmm. Hey, Roger. Yep. Uh, I got a I got a real quick question for you. Are you gonna ask me a question you already know the answer to? So I got a real quick question for you. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Shoot. Let's just say we needed uh, a permanent spell cast on an area. Are you capable of doing that? It depends on the spell. Dimensional lock. <laughs> um, for some pretty obvious reasons, I can't. I won't cast a permanent dimensional lock on any location. You are a coward. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, bad guys aren't the only ones who need to use dimensional portals. But what if this is like one specific one that happens to be a ghost? You mean put it on a person? I don't know. It doesn't quite work that way for ghosts. Which is the one where if we beat up the ghost and then they go away and then we lock the place down and then the ghost can't come back. Well, as No, not because it's like, you know, effective, but just because it's funny. <laughs> Look, as far as I'm aware, Belcor is actually tied to the foundations of the tower. Like, her spirit is entwined with this entire place. So... Have we been handling this in completely the wrong way, then? We should have started from the bottom up, yes. No, we should have destroyed the tower completely. Like, utterly. No, but I, mean, I live here. I don't have that kind of time. <laughs> <sighs> so many things live here. There's two bars here. There's a whole economic center. We destabilize so the region. That is true. What we would need to do is go uh, before council and mm. get this place rezoned, not as a tower, but perhaps yeah. as some kind of elongated cottage. <laughs> yeah. 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 All cottage. Yeah. Yeah. The world's most out of place townhouse, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So, do you yeah. think that Belcora's ties to this tower is like just a zoning issue then? Like, well, I can't, I can't as... imagine it's a physical thing, so I assume it's a metaphysical thing. That's, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. I'm with you there. Yeah. So, if it's not Much the Gortnite like... anymore, do you reckon she's like, oh shit, and then just poofs out of existence? Yeah, why not? Well, yeah, yeah we could just want to try. It's certainly a lot less expensive and time consuming than destroying it brick by brick, so. Oh. I don't know, dealing with local council, less expensive. Yeah, no, no, no. You know what, that's a totally fair point. Um, especially especially if local council is the town we told to fuck off. Um, if we have to get a DA, mm. oh man, this is going to be a whole thing, right? Yeah. yeah. Do, do you want to know like a little fun aside of why that thought came to my head? Mm. Because in the job I currently work at, that's happened twice now to the buildings that they've bought. <laughs> Fuck's sake, you'd think they'd learn the first time. Uh, Roger speaks up and goes, Look, when it comes to ghosts, they're usually bound by two things. Uh, they're bound to a location, and they're bound by some sort of unfinished business. Uh -huh. Well, I mean, we're not going to let her finish your business. Well, that's why she keeps coming back. But, I mean... <sighs> She's not going to be destroying Absalom. I live there. It's where I keep all my stuff. Look, you have two of the lenses now? Three. No, I was actually, Three. well, we did. have we gone the lens from the... Wait, from yeah, the did that drow come back? Uh, not yet, actually. Ah, oh, there's always something. So. Okay, so we have two. If you can get a hold of all the lenses, you you know what to do with them. No, I don't. You don't. Smack her with them. I don't know. Because like, can we get a, like a tutorial ant. level on them or something? Oh. So, if you get all the lenses into the lattice, right? Uh huh. All the you lenses. Lost me, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so a lens is a large glass <laughs> oh, disc. <laughs> that's what we've been working with this whole time. A, a lattice is a framework that holds all the lenses. All right. It's delicious we, like a pastry. We've got that already. We've got that already. We got Okay. That. So each lens has a little bit of an aspect of Nimbleov built into it, okay? 
Whoa, whoa, back it up, Einstein. Jeez, what? <laughs> yeah, though, each this of This is going to be insufferable, Matt. I, mean, we, I apologize, but not really. <laughs> each of them have a little bit of nimble off inside of them. Uh -huh. Oh my god, it is so the Captain the Planet lenses. assembling the rings thing. Kind of. Power so, friendship. Except doing in, it. Except in reverse, instead of summoning <laughs> some kind of powerful spirit, we're banishing them. I mean, yeah. so Nimbleoff is a spirit eater, right? Yeah. Listen, Bel banish Belcourt? is doing a lot of work. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so Belcourt are we assembling a, a spiritual vacuum, really? Is that what we're doing? Uh, are we going to mansion, this shit? bust some kind of a ghost? Well, <gasps> if you use these lenses right, uh, it's not so much going to be, um, you're thinking like you're going to draw it into a pit <clears throat> and then trap it in yeah, there. with like energy beams and we don't- like Vortex, them. yeah. Uh, so that might actually happen. I, I don't know, but you're going to destroy the spirit. Like Belcora's soul will be mm -hmm. completely destroyed. Uh -huh. We are all, like all silently just sort of like look at each other and are nodding, like mm -hmm, yeah, 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 no, that's that's yeah, 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 no, we're on board. We're on yeah. board. We're not board. Checks out. So no boneyard, no afterlife, just gone. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Look, I don't think the afterlife was really working out for her to begin with, so this might be the better option. Well, I think it's really the only option here. Otherwise, she's just going to keep coming back. Hmm. Because I, I don't the, think I can exercise an entire tower. Like, do you think we can like reason with her? Define reason. Uh, like, she doesn't seem like the reasonable type. But if we just no. tell her, you know, like, just stop it, and then like hit her a little, do you think mm. she'll be like, you know what? I've changed. I've seen the error of my ways. I will change a new leaf and be like the spirit of Christmas past. That last one's kind of a stretch, but the rest of it might hold up. Look, I've been through a library recently. Um, she's Fuck got a real, library. she's got a real hate on for Absalom. So, and I get the feeling no, it has diminished. No, no, listen, stop, stop yourself right there. What books in her library are you reading that are like we hate Absalom? She's got like a private library two floors down. Yeah, I know that. I know. Yeah. I know where it is very well. It, I'm guessing it's not like completely up to her diary. Um, are there other books? The, the We Hate Absalom book? This is the noise Absalom makes when it gets hurt? Uh... Yeah, no, she's she's got some pretty deranged stuff, yeah? Cool. Like, uh, she's got like this diorama thing of all the different ways that she would like to destroy Absalom. Yeah, we saw that. That was messed up. Yeah, I think we were, at one stage, we were planning on using those dioramas to trick her, but I don't think it worked out. She's She's got, like, a full, like, short story that goes with each of them, right? Like, novella length kind of things that like go with fiction. each of those. I guess. Man. Yeah. Like Self-insert. Self-insert, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Like, here's how I would destroy Absalom like that. Oh, yeah. So, not only does she have, like, a bit of rage towards Absalom, she's been cultivating it for hundreds of years, so... But, like, uh, uh, listen, I'm not saying it's it's a foolproof plan. I'm just saying if there's a chance, should we take it or just go in there, punch her up real good, and then assign her soul to oblivion? I think it's that last part that's given me just, like, pause of, should we try to talk it out first, or just Oblivion? I think she's pretty single-track, single-mind. Um, yeah. She's had all this time by herself to try to convince herself out of her goals and see how futile they are. I don't... I don't... <sighs> it, how do what? I put this in a way that just, like, doesn't sort of follow the trend of me always being... You know, assuming that people are the worst, but I think she's too far gone. Uh, I would say I, she's thoroughly in the evil camp, and I don't know if it's worth kind of. I feel it's fair, Nathana, that you don't have to worry about her being the worst. The worst. Yeah. 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 
No, yeah. look, uh, it doesn't help that she's been in something of her own little bubble for the last couple of hundred years. Man, like, it's gonna yeah. stink down there. I'm not sure how much of the original Belcora is actually left. Oh. Oh. Um. Can't be prof as this. Um, How long has that been with Compi? About a month. Yeah. Uh, Roger says There's something. Less of it than there was originally. Uh, Roger says something to Compi and Necrol. Mm -hmm. um, for the sake of you, uh, Ider and Compi, he says, uh, you have the right species. Uh, wrong person, though. But no, I, I'm I'm more talking about the fact of a spirit is what is left over the of the person, right? And in a lot of ways the spirit is held in by the flesh. So You guys are gross. It is a little bit gross and it's gonna get a little bit grosser. She died. Yeah. But her spirit held on to the material plane. Okay. Mm. So we're on the same page there, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. As spirits get older and as they stay on the material plane for too long, they lose themselves. So, mm -hmm. all the things that kept them here, they either start to forget or they lose grip on, or they become singularly motivated by the thing that keeps them here. Right. So, they become basically just like a manifestation of the ideal that kept them bound in the first place that still kind of looks and acts like the original did. Sure. Uh, this is like essentially a, what a poltergeist is. It's a like a season so, I mean, framing. 10 sitcom character. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So I guess like framing it that way, then um, obliterating her spirit would be a mercy, wouldn't it? It just, she's, um, she's probably sort of stuck in this really unfortunate situation. If we were to have pity on her, which I'm not particularly inclined to do, but oh look Prince. she was a terrible person in life as well like let's yeah. be absolutely clear there oh. princess is clearly struggling with some psychic damage right now <laughs> and in a voice that just slowly goes from from a whisper to like full on screaming so you're telling me Belcora but we hardly knew her. <laughs> oh, no, no. No, Nithana just tears out of the room, crying. The first time ever. <laughs> Harry's like, I did my wow. joke. <laughs> so just Harry slides in, finger guns. I just, like, yeah. attack Harry on sight and just beat him to a ball. We miss you, Tyler. We do. Uh... But yeah, look. Mercy, I, mm, I guess. Okay, so mercy is a strong word. Like, fair enough. Um, mercy for the rest of us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll take that. That's good. Now yeah. we won't have to deal with a stupid face anymore. Yeah. Uh, so I, I guess my next sort of like line of inquiry is when does the lattice need to be used? Is it like something that we do to significantly weaken her or something that we do to outright... You know, when, once she's already somewhat down, do we then proc it and see, oh. like, it just it just seems too good to be true for just like a, like a, I win button, you know? I think there's got to be some kind of technicality or... So when you use the lenses on her, uh, it's going to imbue her with, like, the aspects of Nimble Off. Mm -hmm. So she's going to get stronger before she goes down. That sounds bad. Yeah. But that's what enables us to actually kill her, like, dead dead. It, if you manage to do it, uh, pretty much Nimbleoff will show up herself and do the job for you. Wow. And then and go away, say, right? Yeah, that's, yeah. What's to say that they'll just bugger off once that's done? I mean, Nimbleoff is a spirit eater, uh, a ghost eater. In the most oh, well, good thing we don't have any of those. 
So as long as, you know, no one in the nearby vicinity is also, you know, dead, and their spirit mm-hmm. is kind of floating about, then you should be fine. All heads turn to Eider. Mm-hmm. I think we're not particularly ghostly. I think that's, that's fine. As far as I'm aware, she doesn't care about zombies. Or husks. Okay, so we we get the lenses, we put them in the lattice, Yep. something happens, and then Nimbleoth shows up. Yep, you will be in the presence of an Elder One. I like how you just said yep to me, something happens. What happens? What do we do? You let it happen, you stay the fuck out of the way. Okay, so just You're putting them be all in the, in the lattice, that does it. I don't have to, like, say any magic words or, like, think real hard. I just put them in and ba-boom. Um, mm-hmm. I would suggest Harry says the magic words or perhaps Eider. What magic words? <laughs> <laughs> you pretty much point the lens at her, all right? You make sure it catches yep. whatever ambient light is in the area. Uh, the light will change to a certain color and then the magic will happen. Right. Sounds mm-hmm. pretty straightforward. I don't know why we ask you questions sometimes. It's... I'm uh, look. I'm doing the best. I have spent uh, more than a couple of days researching this very topic for you. This I'm is gonna, the info I got. I'm gonna throw you at more things. <laughs> first, first chance I get. Oh no! Look, as soon as whatever you are doing with Belcora is done, I'm out of here. <laughs> Right on. So. Like, we don't even know what's going to happen when you're in the presence of an elder one, so. How are you guys feeling about all this? Um. Yeah, um, pretty good. Look, as best as can be expected, I mean, it's a big ask, and it's going to be a dangerous fight, and we're obviously going to go and prepare, and maybe not all of us are going to come out of this alive, but. I don't know. I'm at the point where I just think it's it's. It's our calling, you know? This is what we're, we've are we been brought here to do. So we we got to just go for it and not look back. No. Yep. All right, then. I know you don't seem super convinced, Princess. And I'm, I'm just trying to, like... Is there any chance at all that... Because you've spoken with Belcora more than any of us, like the rest of us, is... Has she gotten to you in some way? Oh, no. Uh, quite genuinely, I'm just a bit gassy from uh, all the drinking. Um, <laughs> totally. I am actually perfectly fine with this. Like, the consigning a soul to oblivion thing, that's not something you should really ever take lightly, I feel. No matter, mm. like, who it is. But, uh... Honestly, like, I just sort of pity you. Yeah. No, fair enough. It's never gonna win, so, like... Yeah, well, that's the thing. Like, if if we fail, there's just gonna be more, you know... You presume if we, like, all die, then just, uh, in a matter of weeks, it'll be just, like, a brand new level 10 party, just out of nowhere, just be like, hey, let's finish this <laughs> up. <laughs> the perpetual You gotta imagine, adventure. right? I mean, we do this, uh, enough people are invested in stopping her, which is to we'll say, we just um, start again. Um, yeah. And we've already cleared out the upper levels, so it's not like that to go through the whole adventure path again. Um. Roger kind of calls out and go, uh, you're forgetting the fact that she might just bring you back. I mean, that sounds more like a her problem than an us problem, really. Yeah. I know, I'm, I'm feeling good about this. I yeah. think I'd make a good level boss. Yeah. Uh, you would. I remember yeah, when you got possessed so. by that ghost and that was fucking terrifying and I was like, never, yeah. ever again. <laughs> yeah. Never, ever. Getting back to So, yeah. Decision is made. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, I guess so. Gonna go fight a Belcora. You are heroes, you are players, so if you have other ideas, <laughs> plan B's, etc. Yeah. Plan so, B. just leave. Of everything uh, we've learned from about ghosts, which we are now, like, correct me if I'm wrong, Matt, if I'm wrong, Matt but we're pretty confident Belcor is a ghost, right? And yes. Mm. Lovely. We have ghost touch weapons for those who have weapons. Um, what other gear? Like, I'm assuming Nathana by now has a pretty good grasp on what's effective against ghosts, having done uh, some research in the library over the course of the adventure. And Yeah. So, Belcor, you know that Belcor is a ghost? She was mm -hmm. a formidable sorcerer in life, and she's carried much of that magic with her into death. Mm. So, expect a spellcaster. Probably yep. the most powerful one you have ever fought. Uh, she likes her lackeys, so she probably yeah. won't be alone. Yeah. 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 Um, I think if we have the funds, I would like to secure some holy water as much as we can carry. Mm -hmm. Um. Ida, can you bless water? Yeah. Like turn it holy. Yeah. Cause I got like a whole bunch of alcohol. Yeah. Hey, G Wizard in chat. I made a Luigi's Mansion joke before, and no one gave me anything for it. So no. I'm with you there, buddy. <laughs> and no one will give anything to him for it either. <laughs> uh, I just responded to him in chat. All right. How That's dare fine. you, Matthew? <laughs> <laughs> so um, holy water is pretty easy uh, to get a hold of. It is a yeah. level one is there item. Any it does not scale. Kind of like. Hmm. I'm not familiar with Pathfinder items up to this sort of level. Um, is there any kind of, like, spell reflection stuff? I'm assuming we won't have a lot of money because we spend it all on upgrading the weapons, but... Um, the worst part you're going to run into is that they're a bit be The kind of things that you're after are a bit beyond you, level-wise. That's what I would say, yeah. Um, it's like things like spell turning or, like, yeah. Counter spell. Counter spell. Uh, dispel magic is a possibility, but it's one of those things that you have to kind of... I prepare to dispel magic on the spell that she casts. Whatever mm. spell that she casts. Mm. Yeah, it's a bit full on. And you kind of have to hope that it works. Yeah. Um, give me one second, actually, because I'm actually going to change out the cantrip that's in my Wayfinder. So I can do that. Oh. Um... Um, otherwise, Disrupt Undead should be pretty effective if you're talking cantrips. Yep. As far as you're aware, she is a undead ghost. We'll see. And she'll probably have undead lackeys, I'm assuming. Perhaps you're not 100% sure. She did make that sweet deal with the, like, robot people or whatever, so... Yeah. Um, abom uh, aberrations of some sort are also an option. Mm. So, things could happen, and just as a general reminder, the Cistern of Souls is probably right above her head, so there's probably going to be some other stuff that's happening. Yeah, I wonder if we should throw a boulder in that or something. <laughs> Just kind of block it. Yeah. Bless a boulder, a roll really it in, that's fine. Big rubber plug and put it in there or something. I mean, if she's at the bottom, it would be just rocks fall, she dies. Yeah, yeah true, true. I mean, once again, ghost. Nah. Uh, I'll write a prayer on it. <laughs> yeah, you need ghost touch rocks. Ghost touch rocks. Yeah, boulders of ghost touch. Where's an elementalist when you need one? <laughs> Sorry, kineticist. The mountain weeps. It, uh, holy weeping, I guess. <laughs> it's sad because its hands look so big. So. Descending into the abomination vaults? Yeah, yeah. see if we can I'm find gonna... another. I'm going to grab some 
All right. I'm probably not going to need the mummified bat because I already have blind fight now. That's what it gives me. Bane ammunition. That's calibrated for the dragons, right? Yes. All right, so I'll get rid of those as well. Still got a spell strike of healing. That's good. Um... Well, as you're doing all this, uh, you will be greeted by one of the drow. Hello. Uh, hi. Um, how did you, how did all of you go with the war? Or the battle? Whichever way you want to put it. Ah, uh, we lost. Good. We, uh, we fended off the would-be marauders satisfactorily. Uh, we we suffered minor casualties. Oh, well, we well, got a new dog out of it, so yeah. Uh, well, we also suffered minor casualties. Oh, Terrible. Glad to hear it. No, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, you post worker once. We're very sorry to hear that, and I just like okay. pointedly stare at Ida. With that, however, she pulls out a yellow lens. Yay! And there gives it go. to you, princess. Yay! It is Osha in color. Okra. Oh! A brandy orange lens. Sweet. Oh, resistance 10 to mental damage. Ooh, I might be able to survive through uh, one of Harry Harper Goblin's stand-up routines. It's only 10. <laughs> Don't go <laughs> nuts. Now, um, apparently she still has the ebon one, so I, I can't help you with that. It would be concerning if you could. We've been practicing pickpocketing people of them, so we'll just pickpocket her as well. It should be fine. <laughs> uh, if scouting is any indication, uh, it's on an altar. She Roger likes to that. talk. She likes to talk to it. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. I, I suspect she doesn't have many friends, does she? No. She's, she's mm -hmm. pretty alone. Listen, to be. Uh, I hope she wasn't talking to that gug. I hope they were, like, <laughs> the best pen pals in the universe. Yeah. That would be unfortunate. Now that I've said that out loud, I'm going to take the, the crimson lens and just, like, look into it a hot second. You see a image blurry within the lens, kind of looking back at you. I uh, no, 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 no. I lift it up <laughs> to try and get the signal better. Uh, it startles you for a second until you realize it's your own face. <gasps> Punch. No. Uh -huh. Why did it in half? <laughs> yeah, please don't. It's a unique item. You're not getting another one. I know a guy. It's fine. All right. Well, with that... Actually, let me put the proper thing in so everyone doesn't get to see the entire map. Why not? And activate! Welcome to the final level of the Abomination Vaults. Oh it's boy, Hattie. Final level. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> in previous levels there has been attempts at lighting either via crystals or fungus or arranged torches down here there is no light you even get oh, a feeling that now one light. second where the heck is my wayfinder gone here we go boom i can see do 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 Um, I need that, that. I'm not going in there. Alright, you're good. Alright, Nathana's gonna keep an eye out for 
She's not trained in finding traps, but she will nonetheless. Everything keep an eye about out. the tiles on this room screams traps. <laughs> uh, you do not believe that you see any traps. Good enough for me. What's that? Uh, princess, hey, we're, do we're doing such a good job recently of you know keeping it all all. Oh, uh, I'm not together. going for a door if that helps. Good, this good, is... good. I was going to say, now's not the time to break that trend. Hey, Ida, they've got some plants down here. I'm on my way. My got some hot dog plants. Drinking my, my nighttime drinks. Off what? on the northern Wow. wow. Hot dog plants. Plants. Northern edge there, there does appear to be some pot plants. Sweet. Would you say that they're Bethesda-ishly clipping through the wall? <laughs> no, <laughs> they've they've kind of grown up and over the wall, like like wow. Ivy or some sort of creeper. That's amazing. This is fantastic. Literally I... playable, Matt. This game is literally playable. Oh, I'm glad. <laughs> You have <laughs> doors to the west and to the south. The doors to the south are big black north. iron doors. Yes, there is also a door to the north, but it's just the upper direction. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> it loops around. Okay, what what door do they want me to open? Let's go to the one to the side. I just feel like the ones that to the south are just feeling really final, you know? Okay. It could be it could be a it could be a bamboozle, but I, I'm gonna have a listen to the door before I bust it open. All I'm right. gonna get my longbow ready. Longbow at the ready. All right. That's pretty mm -hmm. good. That is pretty good. Um. You do hear a hushing sound. <laughs> like people getting ready to yell surprise. Kind of. <laughs> cool. <sighs> They remembered! Just, just in the worst possible- SURPRISE! Time. They remembered your birthday, princess. Alright. <laughs> I feel myself unable to move. I look back at everyone and give them a big thumbs up. Wait. Mm -hmm. Actually, let's- what can you see? Oh, okay, uh, this is beautiful. Kinda can see, like, a, a statue of a hooded guy, I think. Some kind of hood guy. A hood hood guy? A good hood guy. Um, and that's... We are going to set your your initiative at that good 34. Good! Um, I'll get everyone else to roll initiative. As I roll in everyone else. Yes, the entire dungeon adventure has been a surprise birthday bang. <laughs> oh my yeah, okay. god. Um, we're just back down to one hero point apiece, right? Yes. All right, I won't use Harry's hero point for that perception check, but it's fine. He'll get oh. it eventually. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'll save it. All right, princess. Hey. Just got to make sure I'm going to click the right one. Okay. Yep. Princess hero face. Don't encourage her. No, encourage me. You hear a slight popping sound, like a. Did, and did one you, of my joints just pop? You kind of feel something go past you. Must have been the breeze. <laughs> Must have been my imagination. Wow. Okay. And that's them done, princess. Hmm. Right on. Well, uh, I will walk over to here. 
Oh no, guys, there's doors over here. Yo, doors leading to the north and to the south. He says hero face. <laughs> Um, what can I tell? Uh, what would you like for the statue, Matthew? Uh, if you want to do a perception check on the statue, or otherwise you can do a religion to identify the statue. Um, perception is better. It is a, a it is a regular ass statue. A regular ass statue or a regular ass statue? A regular statue. Uh, oh. From the descriptions you have heard, you would assume Nimbleoff. Ah, oh, okay. Gotcha. Guys, I found a Nimbleoff statue. Nimbleoff's ass. <laughs> How <laughs> bulky in the place spirit does it look like? Or something? Spirit Eater. What was the question? How bolted in place does it look like? Oh, it looks pretty bolted in place. Really? How valuable mm. does it look? Would a 27 yeah. change your mind? No. It is a solid stone statue. <laughs> what about... Would a, a 29 change your mind? No. <laughs> no. It's like, oh, you know what? Now. <laughs> You're trying to lift it I, out of its place, and there is a I couple of portable gasps. Hmm, a wise guy, huh? Guys, there's nothing in here except this statue, and I think it, I heard it gasp at me. Um, that will be your turn, though, because... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. As far as I'm aware, nothing is wrong with this room. Mm, yep. See, one of these guys has got to hit ya. No, they don't. It'll be funny that way. Oh, there we go. All right. I that was done secretly. I have no idea what's. Uh, you feel something you... puncture the back of you. If I, I press a can... button, is anything going to happen? You can still hit the damage button, I assume, even though you don't know. Yeah, there we go. Oh, Fifteen <laughs> damage. So like a mosquito. Cool. Kind of, yeah. Uh. Guys, watch out, there's mosquitoes. Do you, like, instantly slap the back of your neck sort of Absolutely, thing? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. That probably causes more damage than they did. <laughs> uh, is there bugs in there, princess? There's so many bugs, I think. I don't know if I want to come in there if there's bugs in there. D what? D Compy I does. What? I don't. Compy, I don't. <laughs> Compy, Compy very much wants to come in there with bugs. Okay. Pumpy's gonna go in there? Okay. He's hungry. Uh, <laughs> reload, fire again. Yeah, no, that's gonna miss. Alright! <laughs> you're, all, you're all alone in there? That's the worst part? Yeah, but for who? <laughs> again all right nathana fucking riveting yeah <laughs> right um i'm gonna move here and then the seek action's like a 30 foot cone right i believe so yes so uh, that i can only see in that straight line if i do a seek action because of the uh, the walls which is hilarious um I'm going to bloody do it anyway. I'll do a seek action. Yep. Just in that line. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Did you want to spend a hero point on that? No. No. Um, I have no information for you, unfortunately. Sure, I can't see anything. Um, uh, lighting up the room doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, not that you're aware of. All right, I'm just going to then just take a pot shot at the statue and just to see if it does, like, just here. I just want to hit the statue. Um, I mean, it has so... an armor class of, like, five. Yeah, but I want to see what happens when I hit it. Uh, roll your damage. You 
don't do much actual damage to the statue. Your arrow embeds in, and there's a little bit of force that comes out of it from the sonic power. And causes it to kind of break a little bit. And once again, we hear a gasp come from the center of the room. Mm-hmm. All right, that's my turn. All right. Ito! I can... I can, like, see the palpable longing uh, on Pompey's face for the <laughs> prospect of bugs. Uh, Compy will journey into the room uh, and attempt to seek out the bugs. Oh, I actually gotta check that. Uh, that will not be successful, unfortunately. He sort of he sort of turns around and looks at Ida and like shrugs, and he's a little disappointed. And Ida shrugs. Like, I don't know if All you right. can't see him. Yeah. Did you look, buddy? What do you want me to do? <laughs> and what are you doing for you? Oh, you're looking. Look, have you looked at the ground, dude? That's normally where the bugs are. Um, Iter. Your senses and perception of the world are a little bit different to most people's. Uh, you're a little bit yeah. more in tune with the things beyond. Mm. The grave, the dead, etc. You can kind of see beyond the narrow little slits in the walls yeah th that there are kind of spectral figures behind each one yeah like, okay um like i i can sort of feel the presence of undead behind the arrow slits is that what you're saying correct Okay. Fair enough. Uh, well, Princess, I can't... And, and to clarify, Matt. Yep. I can't see any bugs, can I? No. Okay. Yeah, Princess, uh, there's not bugs in here, but there are ghosts in the walls. There's ghosts in the walls! In the walls. Stop. In the walls. In the walls right here. In the walls. No, there's not. That's my turn. <laughs> But Ida, the walls say there's no ghosts. Who oh, am I truly well, to yeah. believe? My best uh, friend yeah. Ida or these ghost walls that I don't know nothing about? Fair, that they, they bring a compelling argument. There's some doors on this side, just as an FYI. Don't know what ghosts need doors for, but... Okay. <laughs> there is a hushed conversation that happens from beyond the arrow slits. Um, just some water. Shit, shit, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Since I didn't need it, I told you, Mary. We can't shoot that one, can we? No, it's already undead. It won't work. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna go for it. Yes, that one. Hey, princess. Hello. It's gonna reach out and touch you. I do not consent. Reach out and touch faith. That should be public. Let's reveal that. That'll be a hit. Fifteen necrotic damage. Or oh, void damage. Yes, it's void damage now. Gompy, did you get those bugs? <laughs> Gompy looks defeated and upset and disappointed. As you see a ghost appear next to you, a spectre. He's either evil. consumed all the bugs or found no bugs. And. He's just gonna do that again. Yeah, I figured that would miss. All right.
Um, that one's pretty happy there. He's going to hold an action. As is him. Harry! What's Harry doing? Okay, so 10 feet of movement. 25 minute movement. Um, so we'll move there. And then we'll inspire courage. Uh, this will trigger a action. Uh-huh. Well, they held uh, yeah, actions for a... living things. Okay. If it's a if it's going to do the manipulate trait, inspire courage does not have a somatic component. I think it might be the movement that triggered it. Sure. That'll be a miss. Blowgun. Oh. That will be a hit. Ow. All right. Here I'll take the damage. Um, I do need him to make a will save. Certainly. Alright! Uh, did you want to re-roll it? It would be a failure. Hmm. Yeah. We'll re-roll. Yep. Re-roll. Hey. Go. That's probably you good, right? You are completely fine. No. Mm. So, movement, right. inspire courage. Yep, and then shield. Easy done. Well, back up to the top. I mean, I've set actions for them. As they're continuing to use their blow dots on Harry. Saved by oh, that shield. shield spell. Yeah, there we no. go. I know how to play Bard. Look at that. Princess. Hey, listen, before I like start punching you, could you explain to me how you're an undead uh, cultist of Nimbaloth? Doesn't she eat ghosts? Oh, we tell them to we tell her to eat them first. To eat what first? Well, to eat us last. That's stupid. I'm gonna punch you now. <laughs> Five foot step, then punch. Mm -hmm. It's like you read my mind. It's almost like you have a modus operandi or something. Or it's exactly what I just told you I was going to do. That'll be a critical hit. Yes, it will. Exactly. <sighs> oh, you're not even raging. Wow. Well done. It will take 24 damage. As it kind of just puts its hands on its hips, you know, expecting your uh, fist to kind of go through it. And oh, where you're aiming for, like, f facial area? Did it put its hands on its hips before I started the punching or after? Yeah, it did that kind of teasing thing where it's like, oh, you're going to punch me? Okay. I'm going to punch it square in the femur then. Nice. Despite being a kind of skeletal figure, and we should actually bring up a bigger picture for this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Look at this stink boy. Hmm. In his perfectly pointy hat. Perfectly pointy. You punch him in the femur, and he actually, we see a ghost grimace for a couple of moments before Guys. he realizes that this is an actual threat. It's like punching a forest gnome. It's ridiculously easy. <laughs> you weren't even trying with that one, were you? No. No. All right. Too busy bragging. <laughs> <laughs> Important. Very on character. Oh, all right. We're just going to do this super quickly. Get yeah, right. I don't know what a blowgun critical is, but oh god! Hey. <laughs> we just found out, didn't we? <laughs> Matthew, you uh, can't uh, kill uh, Harry. 
He's not here, though. No. Oh. As he gets a spectral dot embedded in his eye for a couple of moments. Oh. Uh -huh. And we hear audible cheering coming from behind the wall. Hi, caramba. Alright. That's that one done. I mean, that's... That's the best target for you. So he is going to try to shoot you, princess. Yeah, I'll miss him. Yeah, range penalty. Those blue dots don't have a big range on them. Nathano! Hmm, okay. Here, I'm not happy shoot, about reload. that. I'm also not happy about all the people in my way right now. Um. Okay. I'm going to deal with the longbow volley. I'm going to move here yep. for my first action. Yep. Hunt prey. This fella. Um, That's my hubris. My second action. And yeah, just do a, a hunter's um, shot. So two, two actions. I'm sorry, two attacks in the one action. Yep. So I'll be the first, and then the second attack. No, so good. Let's he'll take that damage. He is not looking right, and that good. That will be my turn. All right. Ice her. All right. There's a dude over here that I can there see. There is a dude. Yeah. He's a ghost guy that my good friend Princess Punchface is fighting in the shin. It's um. Beamer specifically. Oh, in the thigh. Um, I I'm gonna I'm gonna cast a spell at them. Uh, if I cast a ray spell, is everyone in the way? Uh, okay. we'll get a cover bonus. Yes. Ugh. Uh, all right. You're good now. I cast this one. Web. Speaking light, oh god. You have the hero point. Oh, I'm gonna use it because it's a freaking level 5 spell that I'm blowing. <laughs> Yay! That's how you uh, do it with I, don't, I don't have a uh, critical button damage, so. You don't. I like pretty that. much go, um. Are they undead or fiends? Uh, they are, in fact, undead. Uh, also, do this. Oh, 96. I think it's like this. Good. Nope. It's just like that. Nope. Well. Ah. Because that, I typed that wrong. Sorry. You're right. There you go. Take double of both of them. And then whatever your resistances are. Okay, that, yeah. Look, the good damage doubled will burn him alive. Mm. Uh, the fire. Excellent. Like, I am pretty sure. There's just sure. like a hole melted in the wall. Yeah, yeah, 72 plus, like, what, 150? Something, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, no, that wouldn't nuke any of them. Probably. Uh, and I'm going to ask him to find the people in the wall. Find the ghosts, buddy. And he's just going <laughs> to move over here. Um, if that's the case, let's see if I can do this easily. Just uh, hold down shift while you move Compy and move him like 20 pixels north. Yeah. Um, and I will actually reveal him. As, yeah, sure enough, uh, Compy can see like a, what we're working with. 
a spectral figure behind the wall there. Tompy sort of pokes his head right up against the thing. And because he's like, I guess as we discussed earlier, it's in my head, uh, slightly claymated. <laughs> yeah, a little bit yeah, gelatinous. Yeah. yeah, he's like, as he presses his face up against the, um, what what are the, what's the cool name for the firing slits in a castle? Um, murder, murder holes? holes? Murder holes, heck yeah. Uh, his face like squishes in the murder holes a little bit. Uh, uh, and he sort of has a peer in the hallway, and then he, like, with his stubby little gripping arm, points to his right as he's looking to the north uh, to indicate that there might be something here. And that's the end of my turn. Oh, right. Well, that spectre is dead. Again. Again. Um, the one just here is going to reach through the wall to touch Tompy. But, unfortunately, you can kill it. So we're going to do the thing anyway. Here's Gumby. <laughs> it does negative damage, however. Or avoid damage. So I'm pretty sure that's just going to heal Compy. Uh, no, it just does nothing. Yeah. The spirit, however, not wanting to stay there. And that's it done. This one. Um, the fauna, you haven't been hit yet. Sure. Finally, the ranger gets hit with range damage. Ha. Huh. Rude. Alright. Just a scratch. Not not a needle to the eyeball. Which is nice. <laughs> How else do you describe critical damage on a dot? Clips mm. an artery? Under the know. thumbnail. Yeah, yeah, right under the thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, well done. Yeah. That's him done. Harry. Ow. This is what Harry says. Um. He would look dashing with an eye patch, just saying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Into the nostril. Yeah. Um, uh, so, first of all, he's going to sustain um, his uh, yeah, carriage. I should, I should take that, hey? Um, put that on. Wait, does it actually automatically sustain if I cast it again? Is that how mm, that works? No, you gotta like reject did you just the swap one it? that you had and add yeah. another one. Because that should have expired by now, but that's cool. Alright, um, so I can't see any of the... Hmm. Well, Harry would have to do a seek action. Yeah. I'm gonna move further into the room. <laughs> yep. Do I, I see these fair. doors? Uh, you do see those doors. Okay, I'm gonna then move into this corner, get ready to open this door in my next turn. All right. That'll be Harry. Um, we have options now. However, that ghost you boy. Um, so you cast magic either. I did do that. That's the thing that I did. It's true. So he's going to shoot you with his dart. And he's not going to shoot you with his dart. Princess! Go to the store. Open her up. It does appear to be kind of a hidden door, a hidden hallway. Wonderful. Um, I will make him no longer in the... Nope. There we go. Um, is that you done, Princess? Move, open, move, yep. 
All right. Come on, Foundry, you can do it. I believe you. We're going to aim for Iter. Hey, but that's me. They saw that searing light. They know what's up. Rude. Rude. Pretty good damage, too. Mm, yeah, not bad, not bad. Reload, yeah, shoot. shoot. How are they blowgunning so good? It's like well a D tier weapon, right? <laughs> they, they, these guys are fucking weapons with the with the uh, with the blowgun. Because my understanding of blowguns was that they're just re like receptacles for poison, like delivery. Like my mm. understanding of blowguns is you need lungs to use them. Wow. Good point. Good point. Um, well brought up, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. There is some stuff going on, and we'll probably get to that once you've defeated them. Okay. Uh, I hate the implications there. Yeah. A spectral hand reaches out from the wall and attempts to attack you, Ita. Ah. That's not good. That's... That's bad. It's bad and wrong. I wish there was a stronger word. Like, 16 badon. evil damage. Evil damage. Ugh, that's well, not anything sorry. that I can Avoid do damage. fun reactions. Sorry? Avoid damage. Avoid. Yes, yes. The new evil damage. <laughs> Ooh, so chic, so cool. I feel sorry. that's a uh, bad statement against nihilists, and I don't appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no reason to keep whacking. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to hit. All right. Nathana. So, just to clarify. Yep. Someone reached through the wall. Yep, great. I got blowgunned. Do I know where the blowgun came from? Uh, from behind the wall. Once again, you would have Hardenly. to do a seek action. Hardenly? To the south. Okay, cool. All right. I'm going to seek action that away. Alright, give me the perception check. Lovely. Um, here we go. Alright, well, they're no longer hidden to you, so... I'm just gonna remove those walls. Mm-hmm. Am I able to target them with an arrow through that arrow slip there? Uh, yes, but they are treated as having cover. They have not used the take cover action, however. So they'll only mm -hmm. be getting the plus two. Probably. And with my volley, it's going to be even better. Um, second action to uh, move my hunt prey to that dude. And Poor then dude. we're just going to hopefully just um, peg them with two arrows and hopefully one of them sticks. Let's go. I've got Inspire Crash Lobby. That'll hit. Lovely. Keep him with your volley. And then the second arrow as well. Unfortunately, that will miss. As a ricochet right, off so that's the stone. Nathana's turn. Nathana's turn. That's done. Iter! Just to make a old school sci-fi reference, uh, I'm gonna alarmedly move over here. I might actually change where I move. I'll do some uh, wizard trig, uh, but I'm gonna shout, "They're in the fracking walls!" It's uh, very satisfying. Tremors? Um, no, the one with the Cylons. Oh, okay. See, I was Whatever thinking of that or eight-legged freaks. Uh, I'm gonna cast. Dirge of Remembrance. For code, yep. You sing a funeral, funeral dirge to force restless spirits to fully man manifest in the material plane. Each incorporeal creature here takes 40 10 sonic damage. Okay. 
Let's see if I can do this. Target, target, target. And they all have to do will saves. Oh, yeah, there you go. Uh, roll your damage. There's some damage. Yeah. Not too bad. I just need to make sure I grab the right two. So, that one is double. T will take half. But yeah, right. All right. There is a bit of a scream that rings out from all of them. <laughs> God, and then Tompy runs up. Um, Ooh, I was going to get Harry to do an AOE as well. I'm hoping that won't affect Compy. Uh, um, does... See how we go. He's all right. <laughs> how is how is Compy's acrobatics? I'm going oh, to think terrible. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll you worry then. It as non-existent um because there is the squeeze action but it relies on acrobatics nah nah he he could squeeze through but all of the stuff that he's storing in his body would fall out uh and he's not willing to do it so it's not a matter of he can't it's that he won't and i think that's an important distinction that is important i believe that I'm is you done though going yeah. to thank you for that bill <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? It's fine. You yeah, that's an it's... image that you want to you... think about ever. You, you don't want to see Compi like squish through a murder hole? It's like if you put a whole bunch of jewelry in a jello, like a jelly, and then you waffle stump the jelly into the shower. <laughs> All the jewelry would be left in the shower. I can't help but imagine being on the other side of that wall and just yeah. seeing Compi's face, not his head, <laughs> Compi's face coming at me yeah <laughs> yeah of course it's a mess oh that'll be a hit oh good on him oh 13 yes. void damage the combi can collapse like an octopus and squeeze for a people mm -hmm. that makes sense thanks yeah you I can also it. he could uh, open a jar that he was sealed in, but he doesn't have the mental capacity, but he does have the dexterity. So, yeah. He would just try to subsume the jar into himself. Yeah, exactly. From inside the jar. Yeah, he'd just be like, I'll just absorb it into myself. Like that time Cat Dog ate Cat Dog. Well, my no, brain's broken I'm... now. Yeah, no. I'm just going to leave that one. Uh, he shoots you, Nathano, with his vile blue gun. Mm-hmm. A little bit short, uh, critical, uh, but 26 Ooh. damage. That's, that's not bad. And then he reloads. Harry! Um, so we can cast spells through these, uh, murder holes? Yes. That's considered something that we can see. They get a little bit of a bonus for armor class, but um, cover doesn't help with area effects. Alright, uh, I'm going to cast Sound Burst at a level 4 slot. Yep. Oh yeah. And I'm hoping that I can get all three of them with that. Unfortunately, um, Compi, I think... Uh, let me just... No, he's fine. Could I move that, like... I can't cast it in the wall, can I? So... No. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, no, he'll, he'll take half damage. Yeah. And we'll go that, that, and that. They need to do fortitudes. Are the rest of you gonna roll? <laughs> Apparently no, not. No, we'll just take that result for all three of them, that's okay. <laughs> I don't mind. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? That's so oh, nice of one. you. I get what yeah. That one's going to succeed. Well, critically succeed. 
and how. And that one's just gonna succeed. So we kind of got the almost the entire spectrum there. Sure thing. But he will take double. He will take nothing. And he will take half. Yeah, that'll be Harry's turn. Alright. I was like, hey, I'm in danger now. Um, <laughs> so that would be... Danger, danger. Oh, time for another wagon wheel. <laughs> yeah. um, and that would drop and spark courage because he didn't sustain it. Alright. Targeting Harry with the blowgun. Mm-hmm. Let's see if we can get another critical. No, just a standard hit. I mean, it won't take take much standard hits to. He's he's fine. Uh, reload, shoot, reload. All right, this is his reload turn. That's him done, princess. So this dude's just appeared before me. He has floated through the wall to attack you. Fantastic. Oh, now we get the rage. Now we get the rage. First one's free. <laughs> See, I should have seen that coming. I should have seen it coming. Not your best damage, though. No, but still. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. It's pretty good. Not pretty pretty. Look, I love your enthusiasm so much. <laughs> All right, Where'd with you your critical that, uh... hit, you yep. smash some of his spectral ribs. What are you doing for your third and final action? I mean, I'm going to punch him again, but you want to do that fortitude for me? Uh, yes, I can do that. I'll actually select him, though. Yeah. yeah he's, good. he's good. And now good. the punching continues. That's a hit. Wonderful. Hmm. Like punching rolling. will continue. Not, not doing the best in damage. The curse has expanded. You're rolling Harry's damage. Harry does good damage. I don't know what you're talking about. What, with his axe? Yeah. Alright. Humpy's mm. medium sized now, so I, we have to target Nathana. I don't quite understand the logic that happened there, but... <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, if he tried to hit Harry, then Harry could get, like, partial cover from Combi. Mm, yeah. Whereas Nathan is a clear shot. Gotcha. Yes, okay, I understand. The, yes, the reason that I moved south was uh, in order to try and stop them from striking. Um... But Pompey didn't know where they were, so he just went straight south. I figured that was the, the best non meta gamey way to do that. I thought it was. Nathana, you are being shot with more darts. Love it. They leave nothing behind but the welts. Oof. That sting and kind of smell a little bit. Mm hmm. It is your turn. All right, I'm going to move here, turn around and pop a quick uh, battle medicine. I'm going to use assurance. Should be uh, 2d8 plus 30 at a master level. Oh, he's fine. You don't have to heal him. Terrible. Oh, I was targeting someone else. Anyway, yeah, Harry's going to take that. Harry gets the 35. Um, and then I'm going to... And then I'm going to keep moving. <laughs> to about... Actually, I'm going to... Oh. Now, here's a question. If I were to move into the square right next to the door, if I was to get Harry to open that door, 
from because I know that mm. can Harry open the door from here? Yeah. Cool. All right. So I'm going to get Nathan to move into here then, and that's her turn. All right. Ice her. Uh, Ida is going to jam their staff of healing into the ground, uh, and cast. What? Let me just charge the staff, uh, and <laughs> cast uh, a three-action heal right here. So if you can give me a bunch of saves, um, that'd be great. I was kind of hoping that um, that light effect would explode. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it had to think about it for a second. Yeah, yeah, it just had to like figure out everyone involved. Yeah. Wasn't much. Well, that's a critical failure. Uh, yeah, I guess it was good for the role. Uh, anyone who heals from positive damage can heal that. That's just in a burst out from you? Yep. I don't uh, know if that hit me or not. Yeah, I think so. Okay, I'll take it. Oh, poor Compy. <laughs> yeah, poor Compy. He has a thing that lessens it by 10, so that's not too bad. He'll take double. The fun little module thing that I use to kind of do up the damage for me isn't quite working at the moment. Yeah, it's a shame. Success and failure. The one you're fighting failed, princess. Good. Good. And I believe in him. Last but not least, he did a critical failure, so he'll take double. All right. I believe that's you done, Ida. Yeah. Can't be mindlessly... We'll go. Uh, uh, he can't. He'll go there. Thanks. Just to be a little bit more creepy. Um, that one. Uh, you can take your attack of opportunity if you want, Princess, because he's gonna oh. attempt to scamper. Well. That'll hit. Someone's pulling out the cure lights. They're mm, they don't stick it around for that. He won't be sticking around at all as you smash him against the wall with your fist. <laughs> all right. <laughs> What's your hit points at, buddy? Oh, you're just injured, so you're fine. And you have a mushroom guy to kill now. Oh, dang it. And yes, that both miss. Harry! Yay. Speeding through their turns super quickly. Chills, so. That's you. Yep. Um, uh, okay. I'll go with my plan of moving here, open door, and then move in to here. And that'll be my turn. Actually, Doesn't he I'll have stop like here. A uh, move and hit thing? Uh, it does take me two actions, so if I had to move to open the door, I'd you not be able to... Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, then, that's my turn. Yeah. And I'll try to just... Alright. That one... Well, Nick, is it Princess that gets, like, a... gets to move and hit for one action? Oh! Come back! Uh, near death, he's not sticking around. Princess! Uh, 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 punch. I can actually select the guy. Punch. 
punch. Oof. Bad That'll touch. be a miss. Sorry. No, it won't. Yeah. <laughs> really? All right. Oh, one in as well. Sweet. <laughs> Make up your goddamn mind. <laughs> Perfectly average run. <laughs> Why did that not? Uh, hmm. that will hit though. Yes. It really wants you to just see your average, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Does it not know who I am? All right, I believe that's you, dumb princess. Couple more yeah. swings into these ghosty boys. Ah, uh, how are you, buddy? He runs. Ah, uh, you're badly injured. That means you're going to be staying in the fight. Um, can't see you, princess. Can see you clearly, though, Eider. Yep. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> ah, that was right in my eye, though. <laughs> Do you even have an eyeball? I said Eider. Right in my uh, Eider. Right in your Eider. Okay. Yeah. I see. Reload, shoot again. Yep, that'll be a miss. Nathana! Um, uh, peekaboo at here. Uh, hunt prey. Got all made up there, which I don't know if I can target. There we go. Um, and hunt a shot. Go um, for ooh, it! Ooh, that's, that's not got volley, so it's just cover. Lovely. That's a hit! Lovely. So that'll be my first arrow. I'm hoping I won't need another one. There we go. And that'll and be the honest turn. Sorry, Princess. I know you had it. Uh, it's fine. Eiter, what remains? Though, it looks like it's about to run. I better do something about it. Um... Something to encourage uh, its departure from this mortal realm? I'm exactly going to do that. I'm going to attempt to disrupt undead. If you could make a basic fortitude save, please. I can give it a shot. That's a failure. That's probably a good thing. There we go. Do some 31 vitality damage, or whatever it's called these days. Yeah, vitality damage. He is near death, but not quite taken out. Doc, come on. However, so I'll give you a like hint. A take more damage, vitality damage, or something. How many hit points is he on? He's got eight. He's got to be running though. Hmm. Damn it. Uh, so... Well, I'll. Uh... <clears throat> now that I can see him, I've got an action left. I'll instruct Pompey to go hit him through the wall. Yeah. <laughs> right. I hope this works. Give, so give it the best shot, buddy. <laughs> you got this. We believe in you. Oh, he's bad. He's real bad. Oh, well. <laughs> he tried. Harry. Can Harry end this? Near death. Hmm? It's possible. His axes ghost bomb touched, if I remember. One of them. So, what's Harry doing? Um, so... Sorry, I keep forgetting that's me. Um, <laughs> it's okay. okay. My first action. And then I'm just going to... Dirge of Doom. Freak it out a bit. Oh, um, and then I'm just gonna chop. That's a hit! Nice. Thanks for the frightened. Nice. 
I can play bards. That was smooth. <laughs> that, like, that was some fucking textbook barding right there. <laughs> that really was. <laughs> and with that, you take down the last of the cultist specters. Yay! Wow, okay. wow those blow darts. I'm never speaking ill of blow darts again. Uh, so as a kind of... Now that the battle's over and you have a couple of moments to breathe and recover, uh, considering the statue of Nimble off, off to the side here, mm. it occurs to you that this is something of a room of testing. So oh, I've sure been tested. I'm pretty, <laughs> feeling pretty nasty at the moment. I'll tell um, you what. You kind of get feelings of what this place was, what happened in here when it was in use by the living. Aspirants would be brought in here and forced to kneel down in front of the statue of Nimbaloth as priests and cultists behind the walls would shoot them with arrows, well, with darts. I'm just glad Should you they be worthy? that they were just cosplayers. In death, they continue to do this, hence why they can still shoot their darts, despite having no lungs. Man. All that said, however... That's a really stupid explanation. Let's keep going. We might go to our break. Just a short time yeah, break. Good. So that's I can good. get a coffee and stuff like that. And I have a feeling I know where... Oof, I love what's behind that door. <laughs> hey... <laughs> don't let me dissuade you princess no i i don't trust anything oh, you say it's fine yeah that's fine uh we are going to take a short little 10 minute break uh probably going to run like three minutes worth of ads this is mostly so twitch doesn't put them on at random times for people who are trying to watch and enjoy the show um otherwise i'm gonna get a coffee i think bill you got a pole handled yeah beautiful all right well, thank you for everyone for showing up so far. We shall be back very, very soon. See you then. Hey, everyone. Well, Ida wins the hero point. Yeah, Yay, Ida. Nice and get that sorted. If I you voted could... for you, Matt. Be you remember that, please. Things. That would be lovely. Remember that when Belcora one-shots Harry or Nathana. Oh, I've had a look the at... The voting um, for Matt in that poll, was that effectively saying that he was an inept uh, ghost GM? Wow. <laughs> Didn't have a ghost of a chance. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Doors from this room go to the north and south, and from I'm the gonna east be, from whence you came. I'm going to be honest, when you were talking about Matt's orc loft, that's the laugh I expected to come out of him. Uh, no. It's like... The uh, Disney's goofy laugh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's got a repertoire goofy laugh. Is this an antechamber? Oh, yes, it is. it is an antechamber. Oh. Don't oh, be an antechamber for two rooms. Yeah, it's got it's a hallway technically. <laughs> I'll abide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guess what it la launches off to? Oh. Another oh, antechamber. <laughs> Yeah. That's right. It is an antechamber attached to an antechamber. Let's go. Let's keep heading up. I feel yeah, like yeah. Let's let's go up. Where I'm bobbing right now. Let's not mess with that. All right. Very well. Oh. Opening the hallway hey, before buddy. you even enter. Are you oh, these guys look uh -oh. rad as shit. Before I, I just gonna charge oh, in there. Dear. Yeah. Why did I do that? No one warned I me mean, that there were guys. You shouldn't have done that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, I shouldn't have done that at all. That's that's very bad. The constructs standing at about seven feet tall. <laughs> now let's actually pull up a picture for them. Me 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 me. I like that someone took the time to give them little skirts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But they couldn't do fingers. Ain't nobody got time for fingers. But shoulder pads, however, got it in spades. Cannot look left or right. 
more kind of these look similar to constructs made of glass but Ooh. where you would have finer lines they have been broken and cut to make jagged edges oh dear despite, I'm in here. <laughs> despite the uh piercing appearance of them uh they look more than capable of grabbing people and then pushing them into the little alcove like devices mm. oh, that's the worst oh, insult dear. ninzard is it AI art? <laughs> it's, wow. It's, it's definitely not AI art. Uh, Just but... imagine going up to someone and being like, are you AI art? <laughs> well, that illusion. Yeah, what, a good, what a good question to ask someone on the street. <laughs> are you AI art? Because you don't Honestly, though, people. like real talk, though, that's always the case whenever you have really vitriolic subjects that there's always things caught in the crossfire. So it's mm -hmm. like undoubtedly things they've been accused of being AI art when it's actually just someone giving it a fair go. <laughs> it's mm, like, absolutely. oh. Yeah. Just, yeah. Because it so, will get to the point where you just won't be able to tell. Like, actually. Oh, God, no. no. Now, you have a couple of options here. And I do kind of mean a couple. The golems, the constructs, sorry, uh, have only just barely noticed your presence here. You can attempt to leave. And hope they don't. We can follow. try to, yeah. Well, even if they do fall, it's still better than fighting them on their ground. I would say. Yeah, looks like they're going to do a lot of shoving into the mm. weird toilets. Mm -hmm. I would say back out and see if they follow. And if not, then... give us glass shard swirlies or something. I don't want mm. any of that. No. Yeah. I mean, a glass shard swirly. That's hmm. Hmm. Mm. So, leaving, I haven't restricted you, so if you want to walk out before... I mean, Harry will leave. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make sure that Ida leaves. Sorry, gents, I, uh, they were just looking for the bathroom. Anyway, bye. I'm calling you Spike, <laughs> I'm calling you Slash. Yeah. <laughs> the constructs do not pursue. Well, they've got their orders, clearly. <laughs> What's happening down in this room? Don't. Okay. <laughs> if you didn't like the constructs, you won't like that room. Okay. <laughs> All right. There are doors to the south. Just keeps getting better. So was Even this more. the toilet? Uh, <laughs> a preparation chamber for bodies. Yep, it's uh, the toilet. Things. Oh no. Wait, no. Everything's fine. Oh boy. Ah, oh, here we go. Gang, we found it! You found your teleportation circle for this floor. And that no. we've won. We don't need to do anything else. <laughs> You've unlocked all the <laughs> fast travel sections. We're not going nice. through Did this door. Did we get an achievement map? <laughs> yeah, we 100% of the map. Yeah. Uncovered all teleportation portals. Uh, do, 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 optional do, 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 do. quest complete. You got? You're not going to open that door, princess. I am physically standing in the way of anyone opening this door. <laughs> oh, is that not a good door? Okay. Just for um, me as a player, is my own edification. I just want to have a look. Oh boy. Okay. Told you. <laughs> Ask princess relaying that information to Harry, and Harry's like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean, princess? It can't be that bad. Oh, okay. Yeah, exactly. I was half expecting that to be the scorpions on the other side talking, just like, what do you mean, princess? It's fine in here. Come on in. <laughs> they are not that smart. Also, technically speaking, oh, not really scorpions. Great. Okay, it's everything. Are they centorpions? Uh, no. They are scorpion in shape alone. Uh, like that conversation that I had with uh, Montoya earlier. Pretty much. Yeah. See her. Alright, cool, gang. Should we uh, maybe go down to the south here? This door is locked. Yeah. I'm gonna punch oh, it. Find a key. I was about to say, when has that stopped you? Ever. 
see, there is someone who could have opened these doors for you. <gasps> you know I'll what I'm just out. feeling about it. Um, <laughs> um, Nathana's going to examine these strange metal... Are they pipes jutting out of the wall? They are, in fact, pipes of some sort. All right. Metal irises closed around the tops of them, preventing right, okay. further access. Okay. Do I have a feeling? Like, can I see any res residual stains or anything that has sent? Does anything come through the pipes into this room? Uh, yes. Kind of putting your finger around the edge of it, you can feel a little bit of, like, pond scum, mm -hmm. a little bit of algae around the edges of it. it smells terrible. Do I get the feeling this? Well, do I get the feeling this room is intended to fill up reasonably quickly? Uh, you get the feeling that it could be filled up reasonably quickly. Mm-hmm. Uh, just adds up, just a punch that this room might actually be a bit of a, a bit of a trap. Those pipes might sort of fill it up with gross pond water. Are there Maybe. any drains in the room? Uh, there are no drains in the room. Hmm. 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 So just, just, yeah, heads up and, uh, we'll, um, get out of here quick smart if that happens, yep. Yeah? Well, we know where the teleporter is, right? Exactly. Uh, with... I just need to double check it, but I'm pretty sure that's enough with the Freddy 7. And I imagine Combi mimicking you, Princess. But better. <laughs> just do what I do, but actually hit it manages to get the door open sweet this is the same room uh just watch out for any tiles that might press down and start flooding things this is the exact same room yeah i'm just gonna have a look at where the tiles are slightly different no, this same. one's got more pipes in it it yeah. does have more pipe in it are the pipes so wait the pipes are open yeah could be. Uh, the Could pipes be. are closed at the moment. Oh. It's in, yeah. He knew where I was going with that. Mm. Well, no, we all did. There's no pipe <laughs> piping at the moment. Yes, it's a hallway. I'm sorry. It's fine. It do be like that. Look, it's long enough that I wouldn't call it an antechamber. Uh, oh. How far along did you get there? Yeah, the, whole the whole length, right? Yeah, that's yeah. where the yeah. whole thing collapses in on itself. Man, I'm quick. You know this about me. Um, as you start to go through this hallway, Princess, mm -hmm. uh, it is stark, stark white to begin with, but as you move through it, uh, you start to see colorful images appear on the walls. Uh, Late! Children dancing. Uh, drawings appearing. It's all very comical, very kind of lighthearted. Hey guys, uh, this hallway's not bad. They're very Wait. reminiscent of the pictures that your kids would draw. And hey guys, you... this hallway's not bad. <laughs> as you continue, it goes from being reminiscent to being almost exact replicas. Like drawings mm. that they have absolutely done. Like there's like by Tony and Yuko on the back of them, <laughs> and the bottom of them in like terrible script. I need you to make a will save for me. I can do that. Can you though? I put up my wisdom the last time. I think <laughs> twenty-eight ain't bad for a barbarian. Uh, you can continue through the door if you wish. I don't know if I do. I'm gonna. <laughs> you guys coming. Okay. Do I have to be subjected to the same effects? Uh, pretty uh, does much. She, does she see my, like, my great kid's art? No. Aww. She sees, like, childhood memories fun things. Are we going through like her Ooh. therapy? 
I really want to save my hero point, but... Ugh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Um, surprisingly, Ida, you're immune to this. Oh good. Well, good. Good, but <laughs> questionable. Nathana's going to keep camp. her result, and Harry will keep his result. All right. Not that Harry has a choice, he doesn't have a very point. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, yeah, was... Ninzad, I'm just going back to all my bedwetting experiences at uh, Pathfinder Scout Camp. <laughs> yep. Like, the Delight. Pathfinder Society has, like, a full school, you know that, right? For, like, oh, they the sure kids. do. Yeah. It would be years, like scouts, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Princess. Hey. Do you have like nightmares I need you to do another will child? save. I can do that. And will get stuck in the bed. <laughs> you wake up and you're like your whole pillow is stuck to your back and you have to go get someone to like pull it off you. Yeah. <laughs> I can't reach you guys. Stop making fun of me. <laughs> Princess, as you hey. start to come around the corner. Uh, you are greeted by the image of your boss. Okay. He is looking very stern. Very frustrated with you. Uh-oh. And he is about to exile you once more. Yeah. I mean once more, I was never exiled. Your continuing failures mean that you will never return here. You are not worthy of being a bodyguard for my children. But I got you like three dragons. All right. You will take 30 mental damage. As you have a searing pain start to go through your mind. My brains. If you wish to appease me, I can take away your pain. And you can return to my service. But I'm already in your service. How did Nathana do? The final not great, but... Oh, good. Oh. oh, no, sorry. I was looking at Harry. Yeah, that's That was for the previous door. Nathana, I'll get you to do an... We'll save as well. As yep. you enter into the second room. Uh... <sighs> Here we go. Not, not happy with that one? No. That's much better. That will be a success. Just need someone to be able to pull punch race out of this if we need, you know. So I um, mean, yeah, Harry would move forward once we're able to, but um, I will pull that off. That then. He's I'll like, "What are you guys stopping for?" Now, is it a situation where on a critical success I'm immune to the effects? You did not get a critical success. Harry does, though. Because he has got resolve. The resolve. He's fine. Um, yep. Also, this effect only Double. triggers you know once for each creature. Yep. Speaking of, Ider, can I get that will save from you? Mm. Sure, sure. Mm, it's not great. I could roll it again. I will. I'll roll it again. It was much worse. It was much, much worse. It, it was done a bad thing. <laughs> uh, Iter. Mm. You have some memories to draw upon. Past failures. Reincarnations that perhaps did not go the way that they were planned. Mm. Yeah. Early experiments with necromancy going horribly awry. Uh, lessons learned. 
that's kind of led you down the pathway you are now with Compi. And mm -hmm. with some of the other creatures that you have raised. As you kind of look down the hallway, you see all your past mistakes laid out before you. Mm. Not decomposing, but as if things had just happened to them. Unclaimed by nature, still perfectly preserved. A continuous and never-ending reminder of where you've come from. As you'll take 50 mental damage. Jesus. I mean, your brain's probably, like, bigger than mine, so fair enough. Yeah. But yeah, Ida, like, drops to the knees and is, like, has their hands on the underside of their cap. And it's just like, ah. And you hear the corpses start to whisper. We can take your pain. Take it far from you. Your failure doesn't have to be your burden. Do you accept their offer? Uh, do I have a choice? You do have a choice. I, I will... I will... Deny their offer. Uh, Alright. <laughs> you may continue your movement through this hallway. Alright. Sweet. Um... I can't see shit in you guys. This is just the most boring ass hallway I've ever seen. <laughs> is that how it works, huh? Is there no door yeah. into this but hallway? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drink an eagle eye elixir, which gives me a plus three circumstance bonus to find secret doors. Yep. Alright, so. Oh man. Nathana, as illusionary images start to appear in front of you, you see sigils upon the ground as they're about, as the illusion is about to start assaulting the princess. If you can give me an occultism check, mm -hmm. you can have the opportunity to disable it. That that won't be enough. <laughs> that will not be enough. I don't have any hero points left, so that's going to be what it is. All right. Bye, Puntress. <laughs> see who assaults who first. Forty-one against the wall. Ah, uh, that's the wrong wall. <laughs> this uh, I didn't this ask like... that question, Matthew. <laughs> You do no damage besides making a couple of cracks. How dare you. For you, though, princess, illusionary images start to appear before you of you punching walls over and over again. Every time you make a hole, a new one appears. Punching your way through doors and doors into more and more ever-ending antechambers. Pretty much. <laughs> Despite all the efforts you're putting <laughs> in... <laughs> There's just like this slight pause where Princess stops the punching. Yep. And then like looks around suspiciously. And she's like, oh no, what a terrible fate to be punching infinitely. And then just like <laughs> goes back to punch and is like, oh, this is <laughs> terrible. Oh no. Later, in response to your detect magic. Uh, Compi is actually standing on some of, uh, magical sigils. That checks. Uh, if you wish what to you disable them. What you got there, buddy? What's, what's that? Can you step out of the way, please? Can you, can, can you move? Thank you. <laughs> um, I will need occultism or religion. 
Or dispel okay. magic if you got it at a high enough level. Oh, that's a good question. I think I got scrawl of dispel magic. Scrawl. No, I don't. I've either used it or I never had it. I think uh, you did have I'll it at one point. Yeah, I feel like I did. I'll give you a religion check. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Did you want to use a hero on? point? Yeah, let's do it. I got heaps. It's nearing, nearing the end of the time. I got a far out. Oh, God. <laughs> fucking what? <sighs> uh, rough. Uh, you have no idea, unfortunately. There's runes here, but uh, it looks like the compy goo that's on them is sort of eating them away. I can't really... Yeah, I saw them too, but I think... If I had to compy... guess, I think there's nothing for us to be doing in this room. It's just intended to keep us here. Maybe. Compy, can it's you my, try and clean intuition, these, but... please? You're going the wrong way. Oh, that's, that's, a, that's a beginner box callback, that. Go back. <laughs> This is not the word. Uh, princess, you're <laughs> just kind of punching a wall. Yeah? Yeah. Like, you're not making progress. Besides making a lot of cracks. I mean, it sounds like I'm making progress then. <laughs> so, what's the plan, mm. party? Hmm... This hole appears uh, to lead to nowhere. Yeah. Can I... Am I, like, am I under the effects of some kind of enchantment that just keeps me punching? Uh, not a compulsion, no. Okay, so I can stop and just... So there's some kind of rune trouble? Yeah, there's some yeah. runes of a... Uh... Over here, you here say. somewhere. I just can't see him. Okay. Really. They don't make any sense. You're just going to stop bashing out the runes instead? Hmm. Look, clearly magic has failed us. <laughs> sure. Back okay. to punching. I got nothing can't for you that. with that FLX check. Ooh. Rough. Harry, Harry, come over here. Stop punching. Except uh, I wants to give it a cultism check. Yeah. Um. Magic has no, failed not us. Not meant to be. He does have a hero point. Nah. All right. I mean, unless we're really invested in the mystery of this room, I'm. I'm. We still got about an hour twenty minutes, so I want to keep that hero point in the bank. Hour and twenty. Just 20. Oh, you forgot sorry. about the daylight I'm... savings time? That would have been it. Let me just... Um, in that case, I am going to roll a hero point. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> nah. Whatever enchantments are upon this room are a little bit too powerful. Hardly fair. held powerless before it we should leave guys i think we should leave this room is too powerful for us <laughs> this is not good i will go back to the scorpions if i have to the scorpions are fine D matthew why can't i move you should be able to move um the camera's Does anyone need some healing? That uh, it looks like that was a bit of a bit of a mind blast. That one. I'm good. Yeah. I'm All just going right. to very quickly just do a ten minute heal for Ida, just with some assurance. With some assurance. All right. Oh, sorry. That's not supposed to be for selected as Harry. That's Nathana doing that. Now, as you kind of come back into this room from the hallway, uh, we all kind of see the 
pipes on the edge here start to slide open. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Like uh -oh. I said, it's kind of like the an iris as they kind of shudder mm -hmm. open. Mm -hmm. And Princess, you're closest. Yep. Uh, you will see a figure kind of start to slop out. Nope. Like a blockage. Nuh-uh. <laughs> Just gonna push her right back in there. You're Just like right. crunch it up. <laughs> you know what the worst part is, however? Mm hmm. There's two other pipes. I can get to those as well. It's like one of those games where you bop the. Matt, you show me that token right now. <laughs> Matt, you bastard, you show me that token. What do you mean? What's wrong, princess? <laughs> What is going on? Ask it a what? question only Compy would know. <laughs> so, wait, is that our accurate reflection of what these beings look like in-game as well? Yep. As in ident identical to Compy? <laughs> well, look, let's be honest. <sighs> Compy doesn't look identical moment to moment. Yep. Fair. Good point. Well mm -hmm. taken. There is a slight variance, of course. Uh, Nithana is going to back yeah. the hell away from Compi as well. <laughs> no, we and need look to. Ida, like, what the fuck, man? We need to keep an eye on our Compi. You are managing to hold oh, back the no. one in your pipe, princess. Which Harry's is, you know, a fun and sentence to, to attack. say. Attack yeah, it? Yeah, Harry's going to attempt to attack this one, yeah. All right. What is going uh, on? I'm using this thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's a critical hit. It takes the damage. And Do I, of... um, while that happens, Nathan is going to look at our compi and see if it takes any similar damage, if they're connected somehow. Wait. Wait, really? As Harry slices into it with his axe, he puts a pretty big gouge into the, from the shoulder to the torso of this thing. And even as we see this happen, uh, we look to the south to our compi, a compi, mm -hmm. <laughs> as a similar wound appears for a couple of moments before sealing shut again. Harry, I don't know if Harry will notice it, but Nathana was like looking for that. Um, Ida, what's what what's going on, Ida? Uh, now, Drover's banned. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Drover's banned on this guy up here, I guess. It would be mindless. Not that weak will, though, unfortunately. Gotta try. Oof. Oof. Well oh. done. <laughs> now you have. Be good. I believe you have a villain point, Matt. If you want to reroll that. <laughs> yeah, good call. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, as I said, the one in your pipe is starting to push back, and Princess, you can even see like Compy's eyes starting to blink out at you. You know, in Looney Tunes, when Bugs against Elmer Fudd, and he just sort of ties the gun in a knot yeah mm. yeah uh, mm. give me an athletics check just so everyone knows i have the biggest like shit eating grin on my face right now this is awesome <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, that will not be enough to seal these pipes, unfortunately. Oh, Princess. Beast. If only there was something I could do about that. Yeah, you're going to do the thing? Right. <laughs> there we go. You can seal that one shut. I hated that. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know what this is. I can't. Um, can't be, Harry's going to take a the, step back because he's not sure if, if continuing the attack's going to kill the good compy. If they're all bad compies, he just doesn't know. So Harry's going to take a step back and see what their demeanor is like. I assume that like they're not, they're not following my commands, right? Um, you don't feel a connection to them. Yeah. Uh, t t what? Uh, mm. what are we? What do we got here? Is this is this some necromancy or is this some illusion? Uh, oh, yeah. being able to detect the effect, it does feel like necromancy. It feels very similar to what you do. Okay. Okay. Are they acting aggressively? It is hard to tell. Why did that door open? Oh, there's a worse one in heaven. There's a worse one. Oh, <laughs> gee. Oh, my God, Tyler. I can't believe you're missing that. <laughs> right. What? Oh, no. OK, so um, Nathana uh, is immediately going to start. Just shooting because that's yeah, no wait that's... guys guys we all know Gompy's weakness throw whatever trash you got in your pockets <laughs> on the ground it's absolute trash panda yep <sighs> not you Gompy god no not you Gompy <laughs> so the plans to attack I'm gonna stop blasting yeah yep You're gonna yep, stop yep. blasting yeah, I'm, I'm a bit scared well couple of things first. Iter, I need mm. you to do a will save for me. Okay. I can do this. Is it relevant? Is is my undaunted relevant? Uh, what does undaunted do? Uh, it's something about mental something. Uh, well, allow me to describe it. Is it an emotion effect? Uh, I could call it an emotion effect. As you feel your connection to Compi starting to slip, as mm -hmm. you're trying to reach out and connect to, like, multiple at the same time, mm -hmm. like, your mm -hmm. connection to him is starting to get overwhelmed, mm -hmm. and you can feel your grip on him slipping. And we're going to finish the session there for tonight. Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> this is... Amazing. You know, you know, Matt, how we're all like, oh, I'm just Matt move over and here his, so I can see these ones. <gasps> his what? evil intentions towards animal companions. This isn't helping you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, I know we're finishing up a little bit early tonight. Um, this is probably going to be a little bit of a big combat. A little bit of a big combat is yes. the word you and, just said, Matt. You know, all I right. think we'd all well, want yep, Tyler yep, yep, to be yep, here yep, to enjoy yep, this yeah, because as we fight the Ur Compi, the original, <laughs> the one all others were made from. <laughs> this is so fucking cool. Enjoying it? I'm glad you are. Uh yep. I, I should probably find someone to raid, but uh, with our heroes finally breaching into the final level of the Gauntlet Tower, uh, things are already starting to go screwy as they are encountering more powerful magics than they have ever encountered. Uh, ghost inspectors from bygone days. I'm standing next to the OG compi. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. You yeah? I'm very good at these games. Oh, you okay. know there's going to be some fucking like, shell game three-card Monty bullshit happening soon, right? <laughs> like, 
I can't control can't combat wait. at the moment, just FYI. So I, I don't can't I can't wait. even box select him. Who That's knows? So good. <laughs> so good. Um our heroes will be continuing on their journeys, but if you want to find out what happens next. Yeah, I'm gonna have to stop you from being able to fiddle with the doors. <laughs> See, if you left had have left Lady Whisper alive, this would have gone a lot differently. The fuck is Lady Whisper? Uh, she was the granny you killed upstairs. Who? Hmm. What? The skeleton. <laughs> what? Oh, the one that was in the um, the, the like the one that was on the throne. Yeah. Yeah. Oh the, yeah, the, I remember yeah. our choices there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was gonna say. The choices oh, we were yeah. given. Such a moral dilemma at the time. <laughs> you dreamed was... about this to prepare yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> It's almost like it was foreshadowing or something. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm trying to think. Do we want to raid someone playing Baldur's Gate or Dungeons and Dragons? Baldur's Gate. Mm. Baldur's, Baldur's Gate, Gate is right. like the least, it's less offensive of this two. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm um, stopping such a snob. <laughs> look, it's... No, always give in and become worse. <laughs> Look, Tales of the Valiant is looking pretty good. Just saying. Did they? They, they did the thing where spellcasters were even worse in the system. Like, isn't better? Like, which is worse? I, I saw someone today to point out well. that you don't see things marketed as the Forgotten Realms because back in Fori they wanted D and D to become the universal thing, not like their individual settings so yeah. mm. no fuck them go to Baldur's gate mm -hmm. <laughs> um a little bit of a historical thing that was all um gygax he was trying very very hard to make DD the only ttrpg out there yeah and he was shopping scripts around in hollywood even when he was alive trying to get movies made well and look how well games. that went for him he's dead well, I'm not yeah. sure Brutal. that's related, but yeah. <laughs> All that said, we are going to raid Jabberwocky. Uh, she is currently playing Baldur's Gate 3. I'm pretty sure we're not going to be raiding into a dead stream again, because they were playing <laughs> it well into the AM last night. Nice. I'm just double checking now because I'm paranoid. That's probably for the best. Yeah, no, they're just starting, so okay. Yeah, no. Um, that's, that's gone well. So, all that said, this has been Tabletop Obscure presenting The Abomination Vaults for Pathfinder 2nd Edition by Paizo Publishing, powered by Foundry VTT, with music by Michael Gelfing. Uh, be sure to check out the VODs for this in the next 24 to 48 hours. I'm probably going to, like, thumb my nose at Twitch and put the, the, this one up a little bit early so Tyler gets the chance to see it before... Mm. You yeah, know, yeah, his week gets too hectic because I think he is going to want to see this. That's Otherwise, <laughs> I hope you have a good day, a good night, a good week, no matter where you're out in the world. And remember, as always, we are the storytellers. Good night, everyone. Night. Bye. 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 Bye.